Assalamu alaikum dear student I do hope that you will be very safe and sound at home and uh, working hard as well as the virtual learning teaching is concerned at Pakistan International School Taif this is grade 3 subject uh, social study today we have got the topic of religions lesson number 18 open your book at page 56 Let's get started. Religion. From the earliest time, it means thousand years before, different people have had different beliefs. Beliefs acquired about God and how he wants, he needs Allah, wants to conduct his life, uh, wants man to conduct his life Today these beliefs are called religions. Today these beliefs are called religions. Allah gave some special sort of instruction to the man for uh, to the earlier of the earlier uh, <coughs> human beings how he conduct how did he conduct his life on earth. And today these beliefs are called what religion? Religions were spread by people called prophets. No doubt about this one, Allah uh, prophets who had been chosen by God. Who has been chosen by God? God communicated his wishes and commands to his prophets as divine books. Allah gave the instruction of his instruction to the chosen people called prophets through or by divine books like Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the last one, the last message of uh, Allah, Quran. People listen to the prophets. People used to listen to the prophets and religious leaders and the religious scholars like Confucius, Zarthusht, Zorastas, Ram Chandra, Mahatma Buddha, Siddharth, like these peoples have been written down uh, and followed their teachings. The words and teachings of uh, the prophets have been written down in holy books. We have got four holy books divine books. Remember this one as I told you earlier. Torah, Zabur, Injil and the Quran. The followers of Islam are called Muslims. They believe in one world. We are Muslim, we believe in one world. Their faith is that Hazrat Muhammad as a W. This is the proper goal. Okay? Whenever Durud, whenever Asra, Whenever a person says Muhammad means comes, you have to pay such kind of uh, human, what we say that one is, uh, show protocol, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, S-A-W. This is called protocol. Was God's last prophet and the Holy Quran as revealed to Hazrat Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the final word of God, which is the final word word of God, Al-Quran is the final word of God. Islam does not allow worshipping any idols or pictures of God or of Hazrat Muhammad or any other religious leader. Remember this one. Islam does not allow us to worship <coughs> picture of God, any type of idol, any type of other creatures like Hindus, like others. Other religions have their own prophets and their own holy books. The Quran also mentions the names of many prophets and their divine books. Remember this one. How many, do you know how many names are there mentioned in holy Quran of the prophets? 25 names. 
How many? 25 profits mean. Profits, name of the profits. Profits means like this. How many? 25. Mentioned in Quran. Like Adam, Ibrahim, Isa, Musa, Yahub, Idris, Yunus, in total, total in number 25. There is Judaism is one of the oldest religions. Judaism, one of the oldest <coughs> religions. <coughs> it was preached by Moses. Moses means Musa A.S. Yes, Alayhisra, Musa Alayhisra. In English, we say Musa Moses, to whom God gave the holy book Torah, Torah. Its leaves are called, believers are called Jews, Yehudi, Yehuda. The Jews pray in a synagogue. Their place of worship is called a synagogue. Remember this one. Turn your page, page 57, Christianity. This is Student. Second one, here we have got Christianity. It's based on the teachings of Jesus Christ. Means Isa salam. The Holy Bible indeed was revealed by God to Christ. His followers are called Christians and their place of worship is called the church. Look, Christianity. Isa Islam, this is Christ, and Christians, book, Bible, are in deal, and where do they worship church? Church, in church. Christianity? Isa 
Their followers are called Christians and they follow the teaching of Bible and they do prayer in church. Okay? Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism began in Persia, now Iran. Persia is the oldest name of Iran. With their prophet Zoroaster, the people who follow this religion are called Parsis. The holy book of the Parsis is called the Avesta. Okay. Zoroastrianism, we call this one, this one. Zoroastrianism, their Zoroaster, and uh, the follower of Zoroastrianism is called Parsis. Avesta. is the holy book of Parsis and they pray in five temples. Five temples. They pray in five temples. Zoroastrianism <coughs> it's Prophet, a religious uh, leader called Zoroaster, is called Zoroaster, and Holy Book of Zoroastrianism is Avesta, and follow that book, the followers of uh, that book is called Parsis, and they pray at five temple. Okay. Next one, Hinduism. Hinduism is based on the teachings of the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Puranas, and the Bhagavad Gita. Hindus have many idols because they worship God in many forms. Their place of worship is called the Mandar. Look this one, Hinduism. Hinduism Ram Chandra Ram Chandra Gita Bhagavad Gita Hindus followers Hindus Gita and Mandar temple, their place of worship, Mandar temple. Hinduism, Ramchandra, Hindus, Gita and their place of worship is Mandar. Okay, dear student, it has got a number of things like this one. Hinduism is based on the teachings of the Vedas. There are Three prominent Vedas like Atharved, Yajaved, Rigved. Remember this one. Atharved, Yajaved, Rigved. And Upanishad. These are the uh, oldest Sahib like this one. Or uh, the uh, books and the Puranas. These are the three names. And in the end, Bhagavad Gita. And also, we have got the other book, uh, their revealed book, generally called Ramayana. Ramayana. But they follow the teaching of Bhagavad Gita. Hindus have many idols because they worship God in many forms. They have believed that these are the idols who uh, take 
or wishes to Allah Almighty. But it is not a good concept according to the <coughs> teaching of Islam. Like this one in Quran says, Ujibu Dawatani is a Dara. Their place of worship is called the Mandar. Okay, dear student, Vedas, Rigved, Yajarved, Atharved, Upanishads, Puranas, these are the oldest uh, script and, uh, scripts and the Bhagavad Gita. They are revealed books, so called, they say that one, they are revealed books. Bhagavad Gita, they follow the Bhagavad Gita. Buddhists, Buddhists follow the teachings of Gautama Buddha, Mahatma Buddha, Gautama Buddha. Buddha lived in India about 2500 years ago. The religion he taught is called Buddhism. Look this one, Buddhist, Buddhism. There is uh, no special book of uh, that uh, <coughs> prophet, Gautama Buddha, and Buddha, their Buddhist followers are Buddhist. as far as their place of worship is concerned. Its uh, actual name of Gautama Buddha, uh, he was a prince, remember this one, and he wanted to know about uh, some special sort of uh, things. That's why he left his palace and uh, went to any sort of jungle, went to woods, okay, for meditation. He used to meditate um, over there and at last he got that real thing and that thing seems to, uh, that special sort of things was given Allah Almighty. He knew, at last he came to know that there is some special sort of things and that special sort of thing, that special sort of uh, uh, religious uh, thinking is that there is one God. There is no doubt in his mind that there is one God. And Allah has uh, had also uh, chosen him the best persons at that time, at that area, on that area, Buddha, Gautama, Buddha. It's actual name was Siddharth. Siddharth was his actual name and after that one he came back to his uh, uh, land and uh, start, started teaching over there. That follow these rules and some, to, uh, to me some special sort of uh, principle in accordance with the Mahatma Buddha, uh, little bit linked with the Islamic teachings. That's why he taught his people in a very good way. <clears throat> Their followers are called Buddhist. Next one, six, follow the teachings of Guru Nanak. Six, follow the teachings of Guru Nanak and the nine gurus or teachers who came after him. They follow nine gurus. This person, Guru Nanak, Seems to be 1469, like this one. 1469, Guru Nanak. And the nine gurus or teachers who came, who, uh, came after him. The holy book of the six 
is the Guru Granth Sahab, Sikh worship in the Gurdwara. Last one, Sikhism. Sikhism and their religious leader, Guru Nanak. Six, the followers, and uh, Guru Granth Sahab. Guru Granth Sahab. Sahib. And the worship Gurdwara. Others, they say like this one, their special identification is that one, they possess uh, uh, six things like comb, uh, some dagger and turban on their heads and some special sort of uh, underwear <coughs> and uh, here they have, they don't uh, cut their head, make their head cut like this. <clears throat> they have nine other gurus. Okay, dear students, uh, that's all for today. Uh, I just repeat that once uh, we studied religions today. Okay, and the remember four things remember that Islam is a deen. Islam is the deen. It is not religion. Religion is only a certain kind of things which leads to the way of worship. Okay? And as far as the deen is concerned, Islam is deen. Remember this. This world has a lot of things. Our social, our political, our, uh, what we say, trade, our finance, or it covers all the spheres of life, this one. And only this one only went to prayer. Only one way how to prayer. This is the religion. But Islam is a complete deen. That is why in the Dila, in the Islam, like this one. Deen. Islam is deen. And like this one, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism is called religion. Remember this one. Look again. Religion here, Judaism, Prophet Moses, and followers of that uh, Judaism called Jews, Yehudi, and they follow the teaching of Torah and their place of worship, synagogue. Second one. Christianity, Jesus Christ, in English we say that once Isa alayhi salam, the followers of uh, Christianity called the Christians and they follow the teaching of Bible and uh, they have uh, their place of worship called church. Zoroastrianism, Zoroaster is their leader uh, uh, religious leaders, <clears throat> the follower of that uh, Zoroastrianism religion is called Parsis, and their holy book is called Avesta, and they have got their own place of worship that is called Fire Temple, Mahabharat. Hinduism, Ramchandra, the prominent uh, god of them, of Hindus, they follow the teaching of Ramchandra, and they also follow the teaching of Gita, this is their uh, holy book and their place of worship of that uh, <coughs> religion is called Mandra, <coughs> they worship in Mandra. Buddhism, Buddhism, Gautama Buddha, Gautam Buddha, 
its actual meaning was Siddhartha, Buddhist, the follower of that uh, Buddhism called Buddhist, and uh, they have got their own some special sort of uh, <coughs> temple. We can say temple, place of worship, temple. Sikhism, religious leaders, Guru Nanak, the follower of uh, Sikhism called Sikhs, their holy book, uh, <coughs> their second book is called Guru Granth Sahab, Guru Granth Sahab, and the place of worship uh, for them is Gurdwara. And up over here, in the last, we write Islam. Muhammad Muslims, Quran, and the place of worship, Mosque. This one, Mosque. Okay, this student. <coughs> This is your homework. Read the lesson and write it. And write like this. Okay? Religion, prophets, followers, books, place of worship. Right, uh, read it in a very good way, then you will be understanding next uh, chapter and uh, next lessons uh, how to do the exercise. Uh, okay, dear student, I do hope that you understood uh, today's uh, lectures. Inshallah, we will meet in next meeting. Till then, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.